Hey, what's up guys? Hanboni here. Today, I'll show you some secret ways in which you can use mind control or dominate mind in PvP. In my opinion, dominate mind is the most versatile, the highest skill cap and the most fun ability in the entire game. You can use it offensively, defensively, you can use it to troll people, throw them off ledges, or you can use it to get this amazing 35 extra shadow damage buff. 35 damage but here are the top five things you probably never knew you could do with mind control and let's start off with number five denying bubble now as you may know retribution paladins have this talent that lets them bubble automatically whenever they would die so instead of dying they just bubble instead by default and a lot of them rely on that and rely on that to play very aggressive, very offensive in your face and just not care about anything because hey, if they're about to die, they're just gonna bubble. But here's a nice way to exploit that confidence of theirs. If you play with the paladin yourself, you can mind control the ret, the enemy ret of course, and then have your paladin bop him, he will get forbidians for one minute, which denies him bubble for a minute and then you have one minute of a kill window where a lot of people don't realize they actually have forbidians and they're not gonna get bubble and you can obviously also use this with the holy paladin you can you know put him in a situation where he would have to use bubble but before that you can mind control bop him he gets forbidians cannot bubble for a minute gg <laughs> number four denying defensive cooldowns now this is a pretty high skill capped uh, mechanic that you can do. It's not exactly incredibly hard to do, but it does require you to predict what the enemy is going to do. And it implies you mind controlling a target before they're about to receive a major cooldown from their healer. Because when you mind control them, they become friendly with you and hostile to their healer. And a lot of players play with this option here that you know when they are targeting an enemy target, and they press a friendly spell they will cast a friendly spell on themselves so if you do that out of a cc chain on a healer and you can predict that they will use a cooldown and you mind control the target you're killing then a lot of times this happens a lot you are going to have the healer use that cooldown on themselves and if you do this right you can get stuff like pain suppression uh, the monk's cocoon iron bark uh, scenarian ward bop etc and again, it's a pretty high skilled move, but when you do it, it's very rewarding, it feels very good. So definitely give this one a try. Number 3. Deny damage cooldowns. I use this one every single time I fight a Windwalker Monk or an Arcane Mage, and it's actually very easy to pull off. And again, this one's actually, I've never heard of anyone doing this, so uh, here it is, secret unraveled uh, it is when you mind control someone to make a debuff on you friendly it doesn't work with all the debuffs but it works with some pretty big ones uh, the biggest one being touch of death from monks and mark of a lunet from arcane mages so what you do is uh, this works on you or a friendly target whenever a windwalker monk puts touch of death on you or an arcane mage puts a mark of a lunet on you or, or a teammate at the very end of the of the dot whenever it's about to do damage if you have the monk or the mage in mind control then the dot the ability becomes friendly and it deals zero damage and it is a pretty big cooldown that they rely on to burst so it kind of fucks them up <laughs> and it's a great way to peel like if if you see a windwalker monk just look out for touch of death i think it's a 1.5 minute cooldown or even a two minute cooldown and it, I'm telling you, it fucks them up big time if they do zero damage with that, especially since the damage, I believe, goes through defensives, doesn't it? I'm not sure though. But there you have it. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Number two. Mind controlling to make a lot of things friendly. And honestly, I could have made, I could have filled the entire list with just things that I, I'm going to put in here, but I'm just going to compress them all into one. So... A lot of things obviously when you mind control someone they become friendly to you they become enemy to their allies right uh, so any buff that they have they're now like 
on your side and any debuffs they may have on the field are now friendly to you and like bad to their allies okay so uh, a couple of examples of, uh, of things you can uh, you can work with uh, for instance, Caltrops for uh, survival hunters, which are a horrible, horrible slow. You mind control the hunter, guess what? The Caltrops will become friendly to you and, you know, damaging for the enemy. Another one, again, talking about hunters, Trap. Very easy, very straightforward. You can mind control, this works in a lot of ways. You can mind control the hunter to make the trap on the ground friendly, and then the trap is not going to activate on your teammates, but Rather, if someone on their team steps on it, it's gonna activate. The same, you can mind control one of the enemy and use it to eat the trap of their own hunter. And that is pretty nice when you manage to do it. Another one is Ring of Frost. It works just like the hunter trap. You can mind control someone on their team, put them on the Ring of Frost, and they're frozen. Another one that a lot of people don't know is Starfall from Boomkins. You, when a Boomkin does Starfall, you can mind control the Boomkin and then the Starfall becomes friendly to you so the Starfall is going to damage his team instead of your team. So you deny damage and you deal damage at the same time. It's pretty sick. Another thing you can do is mind control assassination rogues and use them to auto attack their own teammates, therefore applying poisons, therefore slowing them and reducing healing taken and also having like a dot on them. It's pretty nice. Another thing you can do is mind control shamans when they use the root totem or the slow totem and then the totems don't become friendly to you, the totems are their own separate things, but the shaman is going to get rooted by his own totem. It's pretty funny. One of the big ones here is actually Spirit Link. You can do this in a number of ways. If you're playing with a shaman and he's being trained and he's getting low, what you can do is you can mind control one of the enemy and have your shaman link with just him and the enemy, and then the enemy becomes friendly, so the link is going to work between him and the shaman, and then like it happens so many times, the enemy is gonna randomly lose half their health out of, out of the blue, you can swap to someone really fast like that. You can actually kill things with uh, Spirit Link almost, but you can set up for kills. It's really nice. Or if you can predict a Spirit Link, uh, then again you can mind control someone, the Shaman Spirit Links, and then the target is actually friendly to you, not with the Shaman, so the Spirit Link is gonna do nothing for them. So it's again pretty nice. And honestly, there's so many things you can do on this category. I'm sure you can mind control every class and gain some sort of buff or, you know, some work around a certain mechanic. So uh, give me some examples in the comments below. Because now we're gonna move over to our number one tip that you can do with mind control, which is, drum roll, spawn kill. Okay, this one isn't exactly very useful, but it is fun, and mind control is all about fun. I remember back in the day when I would just mind control people off ledges and like throw them in the water when I was riding from Booty Bay to Ratchet. It was a lot of fun, so this is why this one takes the number one spot. So what you can do with this is you can kill people as they spawn, and I mean level one players. Uh, as you know, when you're level one, your PvP is disabled, you're in your safe green zone, you cannot get attacked. And it's the same on PvE servers, you know, on PvE servers you have PvP disabled and people just can't attack you because you're not allowing them to. But if you use this, you can kind of bypass that and you can uh, fuck them up. Uh, yeah, you can fuck up people on PvE realms as well. So the way you do this is you want to make uh, the player attack a target that you have mind controlled. The catch here is, if you mind control something first, then they cannot attack it. And if they attack something first, then you can't mind control it. So how you can do it is you can mind control a target while they have a projectile in the air. A projectile like a frost bolt or a shadow bolt. And it does work with melee as well, uh, but you have to you know, work around latency and time your mind control to happen at the same time as them attacking it, like charging or whatever. So it can work with melees, but it's a bit more tricky. It obviously it works. It's very simple to do with mages, warlocks, you know, chaos bolt, uh, shadow bolt, frost bolt, fire bolt, even hunters. Though hunters have pretty fast travel time on arrows, you can still do it if you time uh, your cast correctly. And I will now show you some clips of how I <laughs> how I discovered this, and I think you guys are gonna like it. Um, and that's uh, that's pretty much it for the video. 
okay don't 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 be dicks with this i mean don't don't go around killing everyone don't go around killing people trying to do you know iron man challenge and stuff like that but you guys won't you guys are awesome so i hope you liked the video i hope you learned something from it and uh, make sure you leave in the comments if you have any interesting idea of how you can use mind control and i'll catch you in the next video see ya okay so i'm gonna mind control the wolf now so i can't attack you now obviously Mind controlling the wolf? Can you attack the wolf? No. You still can't? No. Okay, then we have one more trick. You see that wolf over there? Mm. This one, look. Look on my screen. This one. Or just look where I'm looking, yeah. Just ta target the wolf, target the random wolf, whatever you want. Okay, that one's good. So I want you to cast a f f fireball, whatever you have, frostbolt. Do it. Ah, oh, too, too fast. Wait, do it, do it. Uh, not, not now. Do it on this one. See this one over here? Yeah. Do it. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> now you're fucked. Because <laughs> now I can attack you. No. So now. I can do this. <laughs> Yes! We, we tricked the system! Alright, there's a mage here. Let's try it on this mage. Oh, and there's a warlock as well. Perfect. Let's kill him. Why would you do that? Okay, so we need to target his target. I think he's gonna go for this one next. Come on. And here we go, here we go! Oh, get wrecked! Okay. <laughs> Hi. Oh, he's ignoring me. <laughs> he's ignoring me. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's being nice. I don't want to kill him now. No. No, should I kill him? Don't kill him. Be nice. He said hello. 